So the word house is a little dark at the moment. <laughs> but uh, 87,000 square foot warehouse. Uh, it, is a, it, it is, again, a blessing. It was more, it's more than double where we came from. This area back behind the half wall is an area that was created specifically for volunteers and non-staff to come and interact with our food bank. Uh, when we do food drives or when food drives are done for us by our community partners, it is a beautiful thing and they bring in lots of assorted everythings, mostly non-perishables that are set up and it's canned and boxed and dry goods and stuff. We rely on this kind of stuff to happen and to keep our food bank operating smoothly. Normally you would see a group of six to 10 people out here sorting food into categories. So if you've been in any of the grocery stores or you've done a food drive yourself or you've seen one, you'll see boxes and barrels throughout the community. Uh, what we do with that food is we bring it all in here and then sort it and categorize it. Like you see the little signs up against the wall that go in and those categories into our inventory system and into our shelves to go out to our mobile pantries, our school pantries, and various other feeding programs that happen. The other thing that the volunteers do for us is repackage food. So we take a dollar and we can make three meals out of a dollar. Uh -huh. that, that efficiency is done for a number of reasons, one of which is the volunteers, but the other way is some of the how we buy food itself. These huge boxes up here on top of these shelves, for instance, that's one big box and the T-O means toasted oats. We buy cereal, rice, pasta uh, in that capacity and that's the way it comes in. If we brought one of those big boxes down, and set it down here in the ground and open it up inside we would see one big humongous bag wow. of product inside of there that product is done in bulk that's the way that we buy it and it goes into the clean room over here where volunteers even pre-covid were wearing face masks and hair nets and gloves and whatnot and they repackage that food for us to go into our feeding programs because one of the major expenses of food is packaging 